Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Gran Turismo 7 Spec 2 or Update 40. In this video I'm going to take you through every single update note that there is for this absolute behemoth of an update. There's pretty much everything from the new license test, new cars, obviously the new track, payout updates, weekly events, a ton of new events which actually caught me by surprise including uh, 900 PP events which is rather quite exciting to see. Uh, we also have the likes of extra menus as well, a bunch of quality of life changes. This update really did not disappoint and I'm going to get straight into the notes, give you a bit more of a live commentary. So let's head straight over and I'll take you through step by step. Okay, so update details 1.40, a new update for Gran Turismo 7 has been released. The following is a list of main features and adjustments introduced, main features implemented. Number one, the opening uh, movie. So the opening cinematic that plays when starting up the game has been updated after the game, uh, sorry, after the update, the play opening movie option will be set to on. Uh, when the game is started for the next time. So you'll be able to see the new movie, no matter what, is going to be switched to on after the game updates. Number two, the cars. The following seven new cars have been added. We have the Dodge Charger RT426 Hemi from 1968, which will be sold at the Legends car dealership. The Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 2018. The Lexus LFA from 2010. The Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5-16 Evolution 2 from 1991, sold at the Legends car dealership. The Nismo 400R from 1995, sold at the Legends car dealership. The Porsche 911 GT3 RS 992 from 2022. And finally, the Tesla Model 3 Performance from 2023. Tracks, here we go. The Late Louise Racetrack has been added in six different layouts. So we have uh, Late Louise Long Track, Late Louise Long Track Reverse, Late Louise Short Track, Short Track Reverse, Tri Oval and Tri Oval Reverse. The new track will be unlocked at Collector Level 22. Four is going to be World Circuits. There's plenty to take away from this. So Meeting Place has been replaced with the Paddock. This mode can be accessed from the World Circuits or Multiplayer Pavilions and enables players to uh, communicate with one another through text chat and emoticons. Uh, arcade Race has been replaced with Quick Race. Also, in addition to existing um, AI, players can select to race a prototype of the AI racing agent Gran Turismo Sophie. Only available on the PlayStation 5 version in specific tracks and cars. The prizes for Quick Race and Custom Race have been increased. Credits awarded for these races increase based on the player's collector level and circuit experience progress. Weekly challenges have been added where players can face events that change every week. This mode becomes available after clearing menu book number 39, Championship World GT Series and having watched the ending. An event directory button has also been added to make it easy to find all the race events currently available. A change card button has been added. Circuit experience has been added to Late Louise Track in the Americas section. The following new events have been added to World Circuits. We have World Touring Car 900, Trial Mountain Circuit, Nürburgring, uh, Suzuka Circuit and Autopolis. So there's a bunch of events and a new theme with the World Touring Car 900. Great to see those ones there. X2019 Nations Cup is also another brand new menu book essentially uh, or classification of events. Interlagos Circuit, Trial Mountain Circuit, Dragon Trail, Largo Maguire, uh, sorry, Major Circuit, uh, World Rally Challenge Group B at Late Louise, uh, Japanese Four Wheel Drive Challenge 600 at Late Louise, Pickup Truck Race once again at Late Louise. Clubman Cup Plus get also gets a few more events with Special Stage Route X, Watkins Glen International, Monza Circuit and Fuji Speedway. And we also have a continuation of the uh, GT Cup Group 3, um, at Daytona International Speedway, Deep Forest Raceway and Red Bull Ring as well as Mount Panorama or Bathurst. That is a lot of events in one single update. I didn't expect them to be this many as well as the weekly rotating events. 
that's absolutely excellent great news <clears throat> moving on next we have the uh, number five license center so master licenses have been added to uh, license this license is unlocked after completing the normal license brand central number six uh, new museum section for a bath has been added for Europe uh, in brackets Italy number seven the cafe menu So we now have menu book number 48, which is world touring car 900 at collector level 39 and above and for collector level 50 So maximum level we have menu book number 49 nations cup the following extra menus have also been added so we have number 31 road going races number 32 alexis and number 33 red bull ring x series added new sets of conversations with the car designers and characters appearing in the cafe menu these new conversations can be accessed by changing it to the following cars in garage and speaking with the characters in cafe so car designers we have ed welburn he's going to talk about the dodge challenger srt uh, demon 2018 and the ferrari fxxk from 2014 fabio filippini he's going to talk about the ds ds3 racing the ferrari f12 berlin netta uh, the ferrari f430 and then freeman thomas he's going to talk about the vw 1200 and the volkswagen samba bus as well Hideo Kodama, he's going to talk about the uh, Jaguar XJ13 from 1966. Shiro Nakamura, he's going to talk about the Lamborghini Vulcan LP610-4 and the Nismo 400R. GT Auto for number 8 has car maintenance and service. Engine swaps have been added to the following cars at level 50. Uh, Chevrolet Corvette C7 Group 3 Road Car. Uh, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 C609. Dodge Viper GTS 2013. Ford Mustang Group 3 Road Car. Lamborghini Huracan. Um, LP610-4 from 2015. Lexus RCF. Mazda Tenza Group 3 Road Car. Uh, Mitsubishi Lance. Evolution Final Edition Group B road car, uh, the Nissan GTR Nismo from 2017, and Subaru WRX Group B road car. Car customization the following brands have been added to the preset decals in livery editor, and that's going to be Spoon. Number nine, the tuning shop. Snow tires have been added to the tuning shop. Uh, makes sense, obviously, considering the new snow track. Number 10, Escapes, the player's favourites collection has been added as a feature creation in Escapes. The Polyphony, uh, Polyphony Digital Tokyo office has also been added as a new spot under Japan-Tokyo. A rendering quality option has been added to the detailed settings section of Camera Tab. Standard, Fine and Extra Fine can now be uh, selected to increase the number of subframes when rendering and increase the quality of photos with movement that one's quite interesting uh, especially someone that likes to you know kind of take a few uh, race photos and stuff uh, and then on to race photos itself we've got change the height limit of walk mode for certain tracks so that it's now possible to take photos from a higher position new shutter speeds values have been added it is now possible to select speeds between 1s and 1-30s um, a rendering quality option has been added in the detailed settings section of the camera tab standard fine and extra fine can now be selected to increase the number of subframes when rendering and increase the quality of photos with movement replay a replay loop option has been added to the replay option only available after uh, only available for regular replays number 13 a gt menu a new dashboard which shows the completion rates for each of the various world map pavilions has been added number 14 multiplayer paddock and split screen um, have been added in split screen race up to four players each with their own controller can now race together ps5 only number 15 sport indicators have been added to the driver uh, list in post race screen to show the variations in uh, driver rating and sportsmanship rating over improvements and adjustments number one cars fixed an issue where the garage rcr uh, civic where in the anti-roll bar setting could not be changed after a fully customized suspension had been fitted Increased the viewable range of the interior of the Toyota Ambulance High Medic 21 in VR showroom. Number two, localization, fixed various local uh, text issues. Uh, and number three, various other issues have been addressed. Thank you for your continued support and please continue to enjoy Gran Turismo 7. 
Okay, so there we have it. That is all of the patch notes or update notes from obviously spec 2 or update 1.40. This definitely exceeded my expectations just in terms of the finer details themselves and things that wasn't straight up said in either the trailer or the uh, or the website post yesterday. So this one, yeah, looking absolutely brilliant. Looking like Gran Turismo 7 is going to be in a much better place now. There's a ton of new content. So you know what? Well done PD. Absolutely exceeded my expectations with this one. Let me know what you think of the update one. 1.40 or spec 2 release notes down in the comments below and i'll see you probably over the next few weeks to uh, cover update 1.40 or spec 2 take care guys peace